everyone. Welcome back to Black Hollywood Live. I am with one of my favorite reality stars for Preachers of LA. I have Pastor McClendon and Pastor Jones with me today. Great to see you. Great to see you guys. Thank you guys. I'm so excited that you guys are coming back. Well, now, are you excited? Why are you well, excited for coming? Well, <laughs> Well, let me, the reason why is because I really want to get an inside view on what life is like as pastors. And I know you guys got a lot of heat for that. Yeah. Uh, tell me what you think about getting heat for that, for just being you. Well, you know, you know one of the things that I've been saying, I, I teach our congregation, I teach our people, that the kingdom of God is a kingdom of relational influence. Right. And anybody you refuse to relate to, you've also refused to influence. And so I think bringing people into the real world uh, is is important. You, you know, people see us in the pulpit uh, Sunday to Sunday, but they don't realize the challenges, the issues, the work that goes into, you know, overseeing a congregation and, and leading a ministry operation. And so uh, I think, you know, that people ha ha are interested in that. And I think some of the people who gave us heat, it was just because it was something new. You know, anything new always gets heat until it becomes normal well, well I would my response to that would be that I'm not very subjective as, as Mac was on this I'm going to be more objective I don't know anybody who goes to church and the greatest heat came from people who went to church that and is I, so true. And true I don't know anybody who goes to church who does not have an idea of what their pastor has or the struggles that he or has does, right. because if you're in the middle of a situation where you have to bond yeah. and people have to bond with their pastors because most people don't want to go to churches that are not intimate exactly so there has to be a connection and if there is a connection then the attitude is I pretty much know where he lives I stay all night cooking for them after church right. I, 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 I was the one who suggested that he buy a Maserati instead of a Cadillac right. and so consequently I don't understand why everybody is so up in arms over what they already know now here's my question <laughs> you guys <laughs> because you guys I know right because you guys get flat flagged so much for being flashy but I I love the way you dress you get flat you get flagged is this but flashy? No, well, you know, I'm, I think I'm it's because of what your profession is. It's showing that you're talking with people who are struggling. You're talking with people who have issues and trying to make it. But yet, when they look at you, they're like, oh, he's made it already. Yeah, but see, what people don't understand is when I came to Los Angeles, California, I came with $70 in my pocket, and I slept in the, on the floor of a garage on a mattress. I could not even afford uh, to, to get a, a house. I slept on a mattress on the floor in a garage behind someone else's house. So I think people, you know, they see where you are now, but they don't see where you have come from. Yes. And our message is that the same God that empowered me to rise up from where I was will empower you. I mean, I don't want somebody telling me how to succeed who is, uh, you know, riding the bus and doesn't have anything uh, to show for what it is they've done. I've been preaching the gospel since I was 15 years old. Anything you have done for 30 years, you should have something to share for. Well, I, agree. I came to LA, I came to LA and I could live anywhere I chose. <laughs> but you know what happened? I went to the hood and I lived with the Hoover Street Deuce. That's right. And I went to his house. Years. So I know he And so him. I was living across the street from all the gangs and I even hired them to protect the cars. So ultimately I decided that I would stay there and my board said, absolutely not. Right. You've been here for four years. It's time for you to go and find a comfortable place to live. And so he came and he had difficulties. I came and could live anywhere I want and chose to go where I went because we both are trying to expostulate the message right. that it doesn't matter really where you are financially as long as you have a relationship with God. Absolutely. And final question, what do we expect to see from you this season? Uh, well, well, from me, uh, they're, they're tracking the, uh, the expansion of our ministry operation. You know, our church here in Los Angeles is doing well. We're doing an outreach now in, uh, in Atlanta, and uh, we've got offices now open in London. But f they're really tracking a storyline of my baby girl, my daughter, who is my only girl, who is now... Uh, allegedly getting married. She's been proposed to, and so I'm dealing with the man who's allegedly going to be her husband. Allegedly. I, you, you hear me, Keith? <laughs> wow. 
allegedly. <laughs> well, you know, I, I told him, I said, I'm like American Express. Yeah. I extend to you a certain dimension of credit. And if you perform, then you'll get more credit. Otherwise, we'll cancel your car. What is your daughter saying about all this? She loves her daddy. Uh, on, my, on my part of view, from a personal point of view, they've gotten rid of hanging in the air in terms of my relationship with her after all these years. So that's hanging. But from a ministerial point of view, I went down to Louisiana and we're working diligently on recovering or helping a church to maintain its posture after a very tragic Wonderful and horrible situation. And my theme for that is people will come to your funeral who won't come to your rescue. That's deep. I just got ministered. I just got ministered. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Black Hollywood Live. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Ashita Andre. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much. And let us know when is it premiering? In August? August 20th. Uh, Wednesday night, August 20th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. That's it. Absolutely. Thanks again. Thanks again. Thanks so much. <laughs>